Welcome to the Spelling Netcast for this week. <laughs> Make sure you have your glue stick. Make sure you have your pencil sharp so you can write neatly. Scissors so we can cut out your words. Make sure you have your zip top bag to put your words in for tomorrow night's sort. I don't have any words in there yet. And of course you need your spelling book and your spelling words. So let's get this started. Let's go ahead and cut out our words for this week. Make sure that you uh, cut them out. Don't just write what Mr. Anderson is writing. Make sure you are cutting them out also. That way you can uh, sort them with me, not making me do all the work, if you know what I mean. So get these all cut out. I like to cut down each of the sides and then cut the top off. Notice some of you that like to cut out the tops here and there. You don't have to worry about that. Just cut it right here. And then just stick that right up on the top there. All right? You don't have to worry about too much more after that. What I do like to do, though, is I want to cut off the exemplars. That way I've got them so I can write them off across or write them out across the top of my paper here. Um, it looks like this week... We're doing a sort 11, and we're doing some suffixes. So what is a suffix? If you look at those words right there, those letters, we've got the A-L, the I-A-L, the I-C, and there's a dash in front of all of those letters. And so what that means is that they are suffixes. They come at the end of the word. Exactly. And so when we do our, our, uh, our suffixes, we're looking for these to be at the end of the words. Okay? So let's spread these out. Make sure that you're doing this. Hopefully, if you need to, you've, you've paused the video and you're doing all this or you've already gotten this done. Please do not just watch the video and copy down what I have to say and write them out. Make sure that you're cutting them out. If you're not, you're not getting the full experience that we are presenting to you, and it will not help you be a better speller. So make sure that you're sorting these out. Okay? And as you sort them, just throw them out here. Just put them out around. That way, as we go through these words, you can find the ones that I am talking about so you can get them and you can write them the same exact time that I am. And I want you to do exactly what I do. So, okay, so let's get our glue stick. First thing we need to do is we need to take this guy here and we're going to put a little glue on the back, our exemplar paper or our explanation of what we're doing, glue that to the top of the page. Do not glue your exemplars. We need to write these out. You'll notice that I'm going to leave a little bit of a space in here. That way I can write something above it if I need to. So I'm going to go dash A-L, dash I-A-L, and then dash I-C. Do you see? I see. All right, now, from that, we can cut our exemplars out and put them in our zip-top bag like this, and then we're ready for that. Okay, so let's get started on our uh, sort here. So we've got our suffixes. Dash means that there's a root word in front of it. And so what these word, these letters here... When we add these to the end of words, they're going to take them from an, a noun and they're going to make them an adjective. And what is an adjective? Anybody? Any adjectives? Adjectives? Anybody know? Okay, it's actually an attribute. It's, uh, it relates to, it modifies it. It describes a noun. So when you change it from a noun to a description of a noun, we'll talk about that, and I'll show you what I mean in just a minute. 
All right. And so, but so, there's, there's some other things also. It can also take it from a verb to a noun. So a, na a verb is a description word also, right? It's some, kind of something of what we do. So an adjective actually describes what it is. But this is actually, a verb is actually an action or something that a, ver a noun does. And so we're going to have to look at that also. All right? So, but every one of these, actually, we're going to write this above here, means associated with or with or it means relating to. So that's what these suffixes actually mean, is associated with or relating to. And I'm going to show you what I mean in our first word. So let's talk about the first one. Let's talk about fictional. So and that's an A-L, because we got the A-L here, so we're going to put that right here. Fictional. And so this was actually a noun when we talked fiction, because fiction is a noun or is something that is not true, and we change it to a fictional land. Ooh, interesting. Interesting. But wait a second. Is that right what I'm talking about? Because fictional is actually an adjective. So fiction was a, a noun, which was a, a, an imaginary person or place or thing and so now we change it from fiction to fiction all and that is actually relating to fiction or relating to something that is not true so if it's a fictional story it's a story that is not true so that's fictional now let's go to another one. Let's go musical, musical, and we're and it's music is the base word exactly. Music is the base word. So when you're a musical person, you are relating to music, or you're related to, you're associated with music. So I am a musical person, that means I am associated with music. I change it from a noun, which is music, to an adjective by explaining that I am associated with music. Isn't that interesting? I think it is. So let's go into the I-A-L, because this one goes from the verb to the noun. So what my, uh, my I-A-L is burial. Burial, I-A-L. But I want you to notice something here. What is the root word in here? The root word is bury, right? So what happens on the end here? The Y changes to an I, and we add the A-L. I-A-L, burial, not bury, all, but burial. Make sure that you have the I in there. Most of the time it happens that way. You'll have the you'll drop the Y and, or change the, the I to an I. Okay? So we'll we'll look at a couple other words that are similar to that. Okay? The I L. But let's look at the word here. We got burial. So when we bury someone, that is a verb. Right? Isn't it? Isn't it? Isn't isn't bury a verb? Anybody looking that up? It is. It's to hide it underground. So we're burying something. But when we do a burial, that means that we are um, burying somebody, and that is a noun. A burying or a burial is when we do something. So that is kind of a noun. It's an idea. Burial is an idea. It's a noun. So don't forget that. Let's look at another word. Um, ooh. No, let's not do that one. Uh, no, let's not do that. Ooh. No. Ooh. 
I just like doing that. Territorial. Let's do that one. Territorial. I-A-L. What does that I tell us? There was a Y in there. Territory. I-A-L. So we're associated with the territory when we are territorial. I have a roadrunner that lives in my backyard, or not in my backyard, but in my area, and it is very territorial. So it, that is its territory, so it is territorial. So we take the territory, which is a noun, we turn it into an adjective when I say that the roadrunner is territorial. Okay? All right, next word is ick. 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 Magnetic. Mag, net, ick, ick, or I see, no, ick, ick, magnetic is, the noun is the magnet, I change it to an adjective to describe, I am relating it to magnets, or it's associated with magnet, all right? So make sure that you understand the difference, the noun to the adjective, Magnetic. So let's look at another word here. Ooh, we've been talking about heroes at school here and there. And so when we're talking about hero, we want each student to be a hero or to do something great. So when you are a hero, you're going to do something heroic, which means you're a noun when you're a hero. And when you are associated with heroes, that means you're doing something he that a hero would do. So when you're heroic, you're doing something that is like a hero or relating to heroes. All right? So I hope you understand kind of what we're talking about here when it's the A-L, I-A-L, and I-C with the nouns going to the adjectives, the verbs going to nouns. So if it's a verb... It will change to a noun with one of these on here. The nouns will change to an adjective. Remember also that we've got Y's in here that will go a Y to an I. Make sure you've got that in there. All right? So now your job is to take the rest of these words here, and I need you to put them in where they are, say them, Read them so you know them. Remember the Y is an I. Try to figure out what the base word is on that. And then do the same thing with these. All right? Get these done. Make sure you write them out. Use the words. Say them. Know them. Love them. Got it? All right. Have a good day. See ya.